Okay. So I'm going to be drilling one hole here to suck the air out, one hole here for the electrode, the cath anode, and then the cathode will be right here. So uh, let's do a time lapse. Okay, now I've bored two holes, one hole there for my vacuum pump and one hole for the anode. I've been calling it the anode this whole time, I'm sure. So now, if we're lucky, we'll see some cool coronas inside this jar. Let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting this coil wire, canthal, tip. You always want something pointy because an electric field builds up most of inside this jar, somehow. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'll pass that whole thing in there. Okay, so here you can see the uh, bottle never broke at all. That was just a, that was another bottle. Um, but I got the um, anode. The anode. Uh, it's the cathode. I was wrong the whole time. God damn. I got one lead inside the bottle. It's all sealed up. So now I'm just going to attach the air, the um, vacuum pump. It's a great, great vacuum pump. Everyone should have one of these. And then uh, we'll be able to see if we can pull a vacuum. Okay, now we are pulling our first vacuum. I just put my hand right here. Alright, that works. The jar didn't collapse and implode and blow my face off. Um, so now for the anode, I'm going to be using this dome on the bottom of a coke can. So I'm gonna cut that out and uh yeah. Here I have the anode like this and there will be a corona between not do that between this point and this point right here when it's evacuated and hopefully before I use the this pipe as the lead 
or the cathode and whenever I used it it would short circuit for some reason so now that's why I have a second one just for that so let's see if it works See that? It worked for a second. Subscribe. Tell me what you thought.